This year, the Miata is truly David amongst the Goliaths. Not only in terms of stature, it's the lightest car in the competition by nearly 800 pounds, or price, much, much less than the others, but as far as power is concerned too. At 155 horsepower, it's nearly 200 ponies down from the next weakest competitor, the 350 horsepower Porsche 718. And in this group, the Porsche's a relative wimp. Of course, these facts have never held the Miata back, nor stopped it from being the best-selling sports car in history. Let's see what the new Target-like RF can do on the track. goes through life with a bounce and a giggle all its own. Really very, very few cars on the market like it. It's so light, such a pure sports car. Even if it does have only 155 horsepower, even if it does lean a lot when you turn for a corner, even if it's not $248,000, that is a pure driver's car. That's really what it's all about. That's part of the beauty of the Mazda MX-5 Miata is that's what they're building from the ground up. The engine revs out better than I thought. An MX-5 makes every trip to the grocery store feel like a Grand Prix at 34 miles an hour. It's light and responsive and it's amazingly fast through a corner. Guess what, that's kind of how most people drive naturally anyway. It's a great match for any enthusiast that wants a pure driver's car that he can go around screaming at Redline all day and not end up in jail. So the Miata RF was the slowest car here by nearly eight seconds. We expected that. What we didn't expect was how roly-poly the car would be. For a vast variety of reasons, the fourth gen ND Miatas have squishy soft rear ends. The added weight, about 125 pounds, of the folding hardtop falls right on top of the creamy rear bits, exasperating the car's already floppy nature. Also, while we do appreciate how light the Miata is, a person in a helmet should be able to fit. But as is the theme this year, the Mazda's in 10th place because nine cars are simply better. <laughs> 